In this video I will show you how I made this super cool programmable LED matrix. My brother helped me with the PCB design, thanks for that, which I ordered, populated and soldered with the new WS2812B version 5 SMD LED chips that do not require any extra filter capacitors, so it makes the whole process a lot easier. So let's find out how it works at the end. This video was sponsored by GSE PCB. Order your custom-made PCBs for a very good price. Check out their homepage for more details. The package is arrived from GSE PCB. Let's crank it open. It's some silica here, so it's a really good packaging. With my logo also. Okay. Now we just have to solder 9 times 9, 81 LEDs. I really like the quality of it. It's clean. This one is also packaged pretty well. As I see on a board was used for drilling other PCBs. And this is our stencil. Okay, let's check the other side. Mm -hmm. So let's make some pastework. By using the other PCBs, we can keep it in place and leveled. I'm just using some tape, fix them to the table. Isopropyl alcohol cleaning. And now comes the stencil. Okay, now we can position the stencil. And fix it also onto the table. In this way, we can use the setup to make quicker more PCBs. And the plan that I put the soldering paste line here and with this I will drag it to the holes. With one continuous move spread the paste into the holes. This is really dry. Let's add some more. The main goal here is to fill up every little hole. Okay, this is too big. I will use this smaller one. So it's not perfect, but hopefully it will work. I make another one. Okay. Okay, now it's much better. Let's clean the stencil. We have the LEDs on the reel. I just cut off just to be able to handle the LEDs easier. This is enough for one board. So I have to take care that uh, the LEDs has a sign on them. I have to put one line at this direction and the other one at that direction. Because the tweezer method proved to be too slow, I swapped to the vacuum pump method, which sped up the process. Oh, 
Whew. Almost 20 minutes. I use my 3D printer hotbed heated up to its maximum 120 degrees Celsius to preheat the PCB and with the minimum airflow setup I use my hot air gun to reflow the soldering paste. You can see how the surface tension of the matted solder paste moves the LEDs into their places. Let's solder some cables to test the board. We need a controller, so I will plug this into 5 volt and then I will be able to control via Bluetooth the board. And now we have to connect to it. This is the SP110E, okay, and we have to choose the LED type. This is not in the list, but hopefully it will work, because we should need the VS2812. Pixels is 81. Enter. And let's see what's happening. Now I plug it in. Hopefully it won't explode. Wow! Woo! All of them works. This is uh, blue, red, green, and even the colors are good. Okay. That's really cool. We can set up the brightness. Whoa. You can see how the data line connected. We can program it to display some kind of picture on it later. Just we have to remap because all the LEDs are programmable. Okay. But we have a lot of other boards which has to be soldered. I have to find out something. How could I speed up this process? Because with manually uh, placing it's a little bit too much. But this is a topic of another video. I have some ideas, but I have to test them first. But I can tell you now, if everything goes well, then my 3D printer will make this pick and place job for me. I am planning to make this extension in a way that it will not need any external power source, electrical wiring, vacuum pump or whatsoever. If you are curious about the results, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to be informed when my next video is live and see you next time.